Hi friends, this is Susie, your gaming guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 2153 in Candy Crush Saga as a special dedication to Samantha. Because the last time I played this, I used the helmet booster, and that's no longer available. King changes things all the time. I was young and naive and didn't quite realize that when I first recorded this. So the deal is in 26 moves we have to get rid of 32 frosting. And look at how tough it is to get to these frosting. They're isolated. It's going to be really difficult. And I've got marmalade and licorice locks to get through first. So I might be here a while without using boosters. But that's okay. I've gained patience over the years. So uh, let's see... I'm trying to figure out the best way to make some specials. I can't figure that out, so I'll just take out a licorice lock. That'll help. Uh, but I've got such a crowded little board here because of the licorice locks that I'm having a tough time just kind of getting through this first layer to make more space. There we go. And then it's not much, but I will just use this and blow this up and create more opportunities on the board. Now we're getting stripes. I have to try to sink them down really far. Hold on a sec. <gasps> I really wanted a color bomb next to a stripe. That did not quite work out the way I'd intended. And then if I do this, this takes this out. That's not exactly what I want. Uh, this might take off anyway. I want to try to bring this stripe downward. I'm just not getting it down far enough. I will make another stripe here and, and try to find a way to sink it lower so it can be of help, but the, uh, doesn't seem to be working out great. The ones along the edges are the easiest to get to. Hmm. I really need to match that with something if it's going to be spectacular. Oh, I can do something with this purple here. So that helps a little, maybe. I'm going to set this off to open this up. Now I've got an opportunity here. It's with orange, and I don't have a heck of a lot of orange on the board, but I'm going to hope that it works well enough to hit a few of these things. All right. So, you know, in this beginning one, I'm just kind of finding my feet. I'm looking at what's working and what isn't. And I think things are going fairly well. I'm down to 14 now. I've got another one of these opportunities. I maybe have a little bit more orange and better spots to get through here, but it's still always going to be a struggle to reach these isolated things. We're going to need to practice making combos, specials and combos. And one way to do that is to look for patterns. When I see a whole bunch of purple together or a whole bunch of blue together, I think wrapped candy. Well, it's going to be hard to get a blue there, but it would be more likely, anyway, to get a purple to sit either here or here if I do this. So we have to look for those types of patterns. The other thing we can try to do is take out the colors that aren't very prevalent. I don't have a lot of blue on the board, so if I could take out blue, it might allow me to concentrate the colors down. Um, and then we have to look at the future, what happens. Like, this wants me to move this green over here. That would match up the green, put the purple over here. This would bring the purple down one, two, three. It would just blow up and it wouldn't have any positive effect on the board. So I don't see that as being valuable. The, you know, the board is encouraging me to take it, but I'm not going to fall for it. So is there anything else I can do in here? Because I have the feeling that making moves that work here and hit both sides is going to be more efficient than hitting this and hitting this, you know, making something up here that strikes downward and here that strikes downward, that doubles the effort. Now, is it going to be easy to make things in here? Absolutely not. But that, I think, is going to be the strategy I plan to employ. Or, of course, making just combos anywhere, like uh, color bomb stripe, and then taking these out. I'll pause the recording, I'll come back with a new board, and I'll see if I can get this all put together. All right, so what are we gonna do here? Hmm, they want me to do this, but I'm thinking maybe trying to go for some cascading would be better. So hopeful that a green would have dropped into position there, but that's just not happening. So we'll make our own cascades. There we go. All right, so now we're opening up this lower level here. This is where we need to be. Now we're making progress. Um. 
Okay, stripes, wraps. I'm gonna go stripe at this point. Oh, that was a good choice. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna take that right now. There we go. Now look at how uneven it is. This side is really lacking. So if I do have the opportunity to make some specials here that can bend downward, I will do that. Right now I don't have a lot of anything going on. Oh, here we go. I like that. And let's make this wrapped and see if we might get a stripe to put with it. Hello. So this side's almost gone. Okay. I'm just going to bring this blue together and then I can focus either here or here and see which one is likely to be most helpful for me. And then of course I can't forget that I may have other opportunities on different parts of the board like with color bombs. So how can I get these to match? Yikes. It's tough because they're not likely to fall at the same rates. Alright, what if I do this and then that's pretty good except I don't have orange aimed where I need it yeah I get a little bit closer all right so um, I've played this about 20 times without boosters and I'm committed to doing this without boosters because I know it can be done but it's also kind of wearing on my voice so what I'm going to do is pause the recording and come back again because I keep getting you know anywhere from two to about 20 frosting needing to be removed by the time I'm finished. So I'm going to come back on a new board but without the microphone on. I've already explained what kind of strategy I'm going for so now it's just going to be getting the luck that will allow me to capitalize on it so I can affect my strategy. So I'll be right back with no sound unless there's something really important to report. Okay, so here's a dilemma. Um, <laughs> it's looking pretty good for me. I can make this or I can make this. So I have to figure out which is most likely to help me. And I can tell which direction the stripes are going to go. Unfortunately, I can't always tell which row they're going to go in because sometimes if they're in a particular row, they may drop down. 
So let's take a look at this. If I combined this, then if I start from the upper left hand corner and read this like I read the page of a book, excluding the one I'm using here, then I can tell this is going to go horizontally, vertically, horizontally, vertically, horizontally, vertically. So this one would help. That's the first one that would help. Horizontally, vertically, horizontally, vertically. We have to get to the next purple. Horizontally, well that one doesn't need any help. Vertically, horizontally. So that would help a little bit if it doesn't drop down. So it would take out several layers, but let's hope this is even better because it would still leave me with one of each of these, I think, right? So let's see, horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical. So this helps. Horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical. So that helps. Horizontal, so that helps. Vertical, horizontal, so that helps vertical. I think this is the one that will win. I think, think, think. Oh, isn't that sad? So now I have to play it so delicately. I have two moves to get this done. Here's one move. Oh, I made it. Phew, just got it. All right, so that was 26 moves that it took me to get that done without boosters. And I know it's a struggle, but Samantha, I hope that seeing this done without boosters at least gives you some uh, guidance. The helmet is no longer available, but it's kind of a weaker version of the Build-A-Bot. So if you do have the Build-A-Bot, you can try to use that in here if it's available to you. If this was helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.